and for Michigan State, it all starts and ends with their senior leader, Nia Cloud. Cloud, and who has been named to countless amount of preseason awards from all Big Ten first team to the Wooden Award watch list. Nia Cloudin is a silent assassin. Here's Cloud. Driving right, crossing over at the free throw line. Pump fake, the jumper, it's up. Bang! Ruthless! 50 points! Nia Cloudin, the greatest scoring performance in program history. A 50 point performance from Nia Cloudin. She affects every part of the stat sheet. I mean, I think the kid can score, but I also think, you know, she's leading us in assists too. She, she gets to the free throw line the most. Um, she has probably the most steals on our team. She's been a really good defensive rebounding guard for us, so she rebounds the ball. I feel like she just hits the stat sheet, and really great players do. I mean, you look back at some of the top draft picks here, um, kids that have worn this uniform, I mean, they're not just a scorer or not just a defender. I mean, they're able to do a little bit of everything, and I think that kind of shows and helps her be the best she can be. She just shows up, and she's quiet, and she's focused, and she's relentless, just ruthless, and there's just something about that mid-range jumper she has. I mean, she's quick, she's tough, she can get to the cup, and she can shoot the three, but that mid-range jumper kind of around the circle, around either elbow near the free throw line, it's where she hit her 1,000th career point. Nia Cloud, elbow jumper, got it to go! That's 1,000 career points for Nia Cloud, and she does it with her signature elbow jumper. It's so clean, it's so pure, and it just feels so mean sometimes. You know, you're in transition, she gets to that spot and she just drills it, it goes through, it doesn't bounce around the rim, it hits nothing but the little back of that nylon in the net, and it goes right through it. It just, it feels like it's just an ice dagger going through the opponent's chest sometimes when she hits it in those big spots. And then she'll do it three out of six possessions, you know, she'll just rattle it off. Her approach is very silent. And I think that has an incredible weight when it comes to her influence on the people around her or her ability to motivate and bring people together. She's smart. She's really catches on to things um, both on and off the court. I think you know her consistency in the classroom, what a great student she is getting her master's degree. It's not surprising. Again, I just call her the quiet assassin when it comes to her personality too, because she'll be dead quiet and then she'll say something really, really funny or have a really interesting perspective about something and she puts a smile on your face because she doesn't say a lot and when she does, it's kind of like the EF Hutton commercial, you know, <laughs> when Nia speaks, you listen, you know. She's got such a, an understated kind of energy that I'm gonna beat you, I'm hungry, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna go one on one, I'm gonna take you down, I'm gonna rip the soul out of your chest and the look on my face is gonna be nothing. I'm gonna have just a stonewall look on my face while I remove your body from your soul and beat you in this one-on-one -on -one spot. She's just so crafty. I mean, right here, what do you do? The jab step, she's so quick with the ball. And there are not a lot of players who can stop that quickly and elevate like that in the mid-range. And you have to be there to contest, but contesting without fouling on a jump shot, especially when that shooter's Nia Cloud. Ice cold, Nia Cloud. She ties the game. With Nia, I think the one thing about her, she started a certain kind of way as she came here. She was really good off the bounce going downhill. She could get to the rim. She had a nice pull-up jumper, which a lot of girls don't have. And now she's really built that three ball. So being a three-level scorer, I think, is something that is enticing not only in why she's been successful at Michigan State, but also I think what's gonna help her in the future in the WNBA. You can see it in those little flashes, right? Like her emotion on the court isn't big. It isn't super loud. Although you see it every now and again. You know, you saw it in that 30-point that game against Michigan in 2021. You saw it in that 28-point second half or whatever it was against Indiana in the uh, quarterfinals of the Big Ten tournament in 2021 where she just went off. Clouded has flipped the switch. You can see a little bit of that fire kind of come out, but it's so small and it's in the looks, right? It's in the, it's in the daggers that are coming out of her eyes. I think her confidence and assertiveness comes from the hard work and preparation that she has put in. She knows that she can be confident and aggressive and assertive on the court because she knows what she brings to the table and she knows her worth in terms of basketball and as a leader and as a teammate. And she is, I think, starting to demand respect in that way. 
She doesn't have to say a lot, she just gets the job done. And I think there's you know, a lot to be said for kids today now that, that can stay that consistent and perform at such a high level. We're early in the Big Ten season, and as soon as we get into this gnarly Big Ten schedule that's coming, because the Big Ten is as good as it's ever been, you know, she's gonna have the opportunity to put together some of those really big time signature moments, and I can't wait. You know, you look at seniors, and you look at the way they kind of finish their career, it's so often that all of a sudden you start to see that clock starting to wind out, and you get that extra sense of urgency, and I can't wait to see what that environment does for a player like Nia Cloud, and I think Spartan Nation's gonna have a lot of fun watching that unfold. My mentality this year on the court has been to just dominate who's ever in front of me and then um, also bring our teammates along and try to instill confidence in all of us in, in hopes to get the win at the end. I would say I'm definitely just focused on playing basketball. Those watch lists and stuff, they're really good and I'm very honored to be on them. But I know to stay on them and to hopefully win one of them, I have to just keep playing my game and keep working hard and practice. At the end of the day, it's, it's really all just about playing basketball. That's what I love to do. That's what I have the most fun doing. And if the awards come, they come, and, and those will be fun too. But at the end of the day, it's really just about basketball.